Hello pronunciation learners, here we are again with another lesson of English pronunciation and within this lesson we are going to pronounce these advanced English words. So without further ado, let's begin. Lido, Lido, sometimes we say also Lido, but I would prefer Lido. The second word is diphanize, diphanize. The third word is allurophile, allurophile. The fourth word is voracious. The fifth word is sinistros, sinistros. And the last sixth word is dextros. The first word is lido, which means a fashionable beach resort. It's a disyllabic word. Li Though the first syllable should be stressed, we say lido. The second word is a verb, and it's to diphthonize, which means to turn or to change into a diphthong. And diphthonize, diphthonize, it's a three syllable verb. The first syllable, diph, should be stressed. I repeat, diphthonize. The third word is ilurophile. I knew a file. I knew a file. It's a four syllable noun. It's a beautiful word which means a cat fancier or a lover of cats. That's I knew a file. The second syllable, you, should be stressed. We say I knew a file. I knew a file. The fourth word is voracious. Voracious is an adjective. Voracious is a three syllable. Word. The second syllable, re, should be stressed. We say voracious, which means speaking the truth or honest. Voracious. The fifth word is sinistros. Another advanced word, sinistros. Sinistros. It's a three syllable word. The first syllable, c, with short e, should be stressed. We say sinistros, which means from left to right, spirally, the direction from left to right, sinistros. The last word is the opposite of sinistros is dextros, which means from right to left. Dextros, dextros, it's a two syllable word. The first syllable, dex, should be stressed. We say dextros. Now let's practice Lido or Lido, Diphanize, Allurophile, Voracious, Sinistros, Dextros, Dextros, Sinistros, Voracious, Allurophile, Diphanize, Lido, Lido, Diphanize, Allurophile, Voracious, Sinistros, Dextros. Thanks for watching, peace and goodbye.